Two things gonna happen. You can get exposure or you can get exposed. Get exposure or you can get exposed. Be honest, just straight up. It ain't too much now you can do in training that's that's going no, to be different. Yeah, no, it ain't. It ain't. It's not. Like, I swear, I, I ain't seen nobody do this move yet. <laughs> he did a move and he spent and was able to just come up and shoot a straight jump shot. He had like 30 some points, and I was like, dude, this dude is great. Like, he good. Don't just be honest. <laughs> I highlight of video, like the, video the, the influence of the video, the influence of video, and the media market. Awesome talk, dude. Uh, it can be a double edged sword. That double edged sword. It can it promotes you, and it can also de demote you. That double edged sword. Double edged sword. I don't get me wrong. I love it because it helped me promote my business. But I think it can be good and bad for play. We have a lot of kids now that that's all they watch. Instagram, YouTube, every every social media, right. everything now. So you just go to YouTube now, you can pop up a video. I've seen kids that I know tell me, hey, such and such is good. Like, look what he did on this move or what he yeah. did. And then you actually see the kid in person and you try not to, and you'll say, okay, I, <laughs> do the trash. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say trash. I'm not gonna say trash, but he's not what you thought. I got you. Yeah. I got a quote, Coach Darby, this is quotable, Coach Darby. Uh, two things gonna happen, you can get exposure or you can get exposed. So, you know, with with the social media and the marketing, two things gonna happen. You will get marketed, you can put yourself out there. But now, I'm getting attention. Yeah. Whether or not I'm ready for this attention or not, it's coming. Right. So, you know, whether or not I, dunk, I might have dunked that ball on one person, but now I'm bringing the crowd out because they, they saw me dunk that ball, but now can I put the ball on the floor to defend in front of me? Right. Oh man, this kid can't play. Yeah. He just can dunk. Yeah. So now, with, now, now I'm getting exposed. But also, it can hurt kids too because you get, you'll have kids see this kid and people and say, "Oh, that kid is not good," mm -hmm. because of a mixtape or yeah. a highlight. If it can help him, like it's not gonna get you a scholarship doing no, the workout. No, no, it's not gonna get you a scholarship. Right. But it can sometimes it can get some notoriety to you. Like, okay. Yeah. It's Kid, let me to pay attention. Yeah, see, that, that was gonna be my next and, question. And I, and I think, and I think sometimes, I think people look at it the wrong way. A coach is not gonna look at a highlight video and say, "I want off him with No, no, no. Okay. They're not gonna do that. So me and him know this person. They're not gonna do that. Yeah. They're gonna look at it as, "Oh, who is this kid?" So I've had coaches hit me on certain social media, like, "Who is this kid?" They see him dunking or something like that. Like, okay. Could you send me a highlight film or something, a game, right, yeah, so he can play? see a game tape. Exactly. Yeah. We gotta be careful when we put certain kids out there too soon. Exactly. You know, cause sometimes you gotta I watch. You gotta yeah. watch the pro. It's a process and everything, so you gotta watch it before you do it. Yeah. You know, so when you're really putting your, putting yourself out there, your kids out there, whether you're training them, make sure they're ready for the attention that's gonna come. It puts a lot of pressure on these kids now, because you're putting too much stock, and sometimes you hurt these guys because some of these kids don't want to be. Celebrities. Right. You're making kids celebrities now. Exactly what you're doing. So you're not you're not letting them live their lives. Right. You know, I bet Zion can't go anywhere or RJ or anybody can't just go anywhere by themselves and not have somebody, hey, give me your autograph, do this, do this. Right. You can't be a normal kid. Mm -hmm. You know, thank God, you know, I wasn't that highly publicized, but I was a normal kid. I don't know how I would react if I had all. Right. Right. So, um, you know, even with the kids that me and him work with, you know, Ashley is one of those kids. He's gonna be the top guy. People ask, hey, we want to be like you, we want to do this. But how how do you react to that as, as a, a young kid, a teenager, yeah. a teenager, you know? So, I mean, I think it's, it could be good and bad. Double-edged sword. Double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. um, see, when me and Justin growing up, we didn't have the, the social media like everybody has now. Yeah, right. You know, I think if we did, just say, I come out the same class as LeBron James. Imagine if LeBron James was over. Instagram and YouTube, like Zion, he's basically Zion now, right? right. Yeah. yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. So if you go to Zion games, as we all have been, I don't know if you've been to. Yeah, I've been to some. Okay. <laughs> what time do you have to get to the game to see him play? Oh, you Two get hours ahead. Yeah. yeah. So if it wasn't for social media, how big would he be? Honestly, yeah. just off the dunk. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, even if you think about LeBron, though, they had to move LeBron's games to. But no, what I'm saying. But what I'm saying. That was really before. But what I'm saying. If you go now, I'm just saying. 
guys go to his game not to see him play sometimes. They just go for the warm up, bro. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I, 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 I see that. That's, 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 that's actually, actually people come that, in like, oh, that made me. I'm being a good. Zion Winslow, I seen you a good player. When I saw his warm ups, I was like, yo, I got to go see him play. When he come, where am I, wherever, wherever I'm sit down, I'm going to go see. Um, we try to, I mean, we all use social media. I use social media for videos, for players, yeah. things of that nature. I get asked numerous of times, hey, when I'm going to get a video. When I'm gonna, and it kind of takes away from what me and, when me and Coach Justin do. Mm-hmm. We're trying, we're player developers. We're not trying to do stuff for video. Yes, we do it for marketing. The yeah. markets are our business. Mm-hmm. But we're not doing it to, we're doing it to help with a kid. I wish I was better at it, you know. I, I, I'm, I'm working on my, my, my video marketing. I ain't never really been good with it. I'm not really a, a, te- a, a technical geek or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to get better at it. But, but you, you've seen, that, you know, the, the, the positives in it. Right. Yeah. Um, like I, I always watch this video. I say, I always say, man, go Rob do his thing on, on social media. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Look, it, it work out to be trash. I don't know. But on social media, it's on, it's on point. You know what I mean? Since I'm no media guy myself, I mean, it's business for me. So, I mean, if you want to mix, hit me up. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. I mean, just hit, hey, if you need a mix, and I can make it, I got you. Hey, hey just be good, I and mean, I can get you some exposure. <laughs> what I, I don't like it. Not that I don't like the Under Armour brand or the Nike brand or the Adidas brand. I don't like the fact that everything is segregated based upon the power of the powers that be, right. you know. So it's this big stigma. Nike is the it circle. The EYBL is the it circle. Um, at the end of the day, a kid is a kid. A player is a player. Just because I play on the EYBL circuit, don't mean I'm the best player. Right. That, I'm, that I'm better than a, a Adidas kid. I'm better than an unarmed kid. So what I think the shoot what happened with the AAU now is you able to hide. Back as when we played. The best kid played the best kid, so I'm, I can be I can be the number one player in the country, and you can be the number two player in the country, and we might not ever play against each other. So now you just eliminate the competition as a whole. Right. Yeah. So basketball is a competitive sport. Last time I checked. So if the best competition they playing against the best competition. What's the point? What's the point? Yeah. Right. And how can we really judge you? You can't. You can't. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, sure. supposedly the number two kid in Under Armour, the number one kid Nike, they ain't never playing each other. Right, Zion saying, never played RJ. Yeah, Zion never played RJ, so is he? Yeah. yeah, so you can't get an honest assessment of talent. Um, I just think it, it, it builds up everything. For me, basketball, I think everything should be about basketball. When you start bringing shoe companies and rankings and just the AAU culture now, it's terrible. Like, I, I really don't like the AAU culture. I agree with Justin. I wish it could be done away. Honestly. Because when we play, everybody play everybody. It wasn't. Adidas played Nike. Nike played. Yeah. Under Armour was not then. Not okay. Okay. But it's kind of like Reebok. Reebok right. They had all these people playing right. against each other. We got to see who was good. That's why we say by camps. You got to get the best players here. I think they should bring camps back. Honestly. Yeah. Like the ABC. ABC City camp, yeah. Nike. Right. Nike All American. Uh, camps were more important then. Yeah. yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Camps were more important. Now it's AAU. Cause now you don't see counts. Counts kind of fading away. And it would be better. They would come, oh yeah. Cause you you was there to get a rank. Right. You was there to get a rank. So you had all the top players in one. And everybody rank. came. And they and like everybody they separated. Came. Everybody. And, 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 and I think what what that was now. Cause now we everybody all the shoe companies got leads. They, they got the leads. And yeah. so now you didn't have it. Yeah. You, you, had you was either gonna go. Cause I remember the debate used to be. If you get that invite, which one you gonna go to? Yeah. So people would look like, alright, who on the ABCD? He going, he going, he going, he going. Who going to Nike? He going, nah, I'm going to ABCD. Okay. Cause you know, every coach gonna be in there watching. You in one arena, everybody's playing. Right. LeBron was so good, bro. He could have left high school in 11th grade and went playing the league. I believe. That's how good he was. But it's just like me and Justin said, if you get that invite, man, that's like, you got everybody in one arena. Trying. I mean, how many NBA players play in ABCD and like? Oh, I man, everybody didn't touch the ball. Everybody was tired. Yeah. I mean, everybody got Brun, to, to, to Isaiah Thomas, Kevin Love, everybody. Sebastian Tab, yeah. yeah. all these guys in one Brandon Jennings, all in one room. Nobody, nobody sticks to 
just basketball. You want to jump around, kids and jump team to team. And that's, and that's why a lot of guys transfer. That's why they tra transfer in college. They've been taught. That's what they learn. You learn at an early age, and, and it doesn't produce a quality person right. at the end of the day. Because when I when I become an adult, I can't jump job to job to job to job. <laughs> right. It don't work for me. It don't work like that. I'm not just going to start. What they going to look at? They're going to look at your track record. Right? Yeah. Like, so you was only here for this month? You was only, what you, what happened? What happened? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't start playing until I had to knock. And what, what? parents, <laughs> and what parents don't realize is a guy like, you know, me and Rob, we communicate with college coaches on the day. And whether or not they know it or not, college coaches track that type of thing. Sure Why would I? I wouldn't recruit a kid that's had a track record of playing on five AAU teams in four years yeah. or three years at the end of the day. Sure. You, you, you being nice, the dog five teams in two months. Five kids, like, five teams in two months. I wouldn't. If I'm a college coach, college coaches really they they, they they ask me, man, what you think about me? I say they jump around team to team. I don't want no kid like that. Right. Uh, if I get them, it's a high possibility that he gonna transfer. And at the end of the day, I'm making millions of dollars at my job. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put my stock on the kid. I don't even know if I can keep right. to keep my job. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like we need to kind of try to hone this thing back in, change the culture of AAU. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, AAU started. When I was playing, the goal ain't never changed for AAU. The, the goal of AAU is to get a college scholarship. Yeah. I, I, can be, I ain't got to be ranked. I can be ranked number one. But the goal of AAU is to get a free education. That's what. That's why I pull all my. That's why I dump my money. I, I dump it in now, so I don't have to pay nothing later. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And I think we get so caught up in you know your social medias and your, you know all this, you know, people marking my child and people thinking my kids this, that, and the, and the third. But at the end of the day, it's only it's all about him getting a scholarship. Yeah. And we forget that.